Let's discuss the mechanisms of a type 3 hypersensitivity reaction. Type 3 hypersensitivity results when antibodies bind to soluble antigens, deposit on body tissues, and cause damage through complement activation. When soluble antigens like a medication, insect venom, or animal venom enters blood circulation, IgM or IgG antibodies will detect and bind to them, forming antigen-antibody complexes, also known as immune complexes. Immune complexes attach to the endothelium of the blood vessel wall or to other tissues, like the synovium of joints, the glomeruli of kidneys, and the epithelial lining of alveoli in the lungs. The complex attached to tissues activates the complement cascade, beginning with C1, which leads to activation of proteins C5A and C3B. C5A acts as a chemotactic factor for neutrophils and attracts them to the site. Once recruited, the neutrophils utilize FC receptors and the complement receptors to bind to the antibodies and C3B deposited in the tissues. Upon binding, the neutrophils release cytotoxic granules containing reactive oxygen species that damage the body tissues. Type 3 hypersensitivity reactions can be either localized or systemic. Localized type 3 hypersensitivity reactions may be called Arthas reactions, especially if the skin is involved. Localized reactions may occur when antigens have been either injected, inhaled, or ingested. For instance, an Arthas reaction may occur in certain individuals after receiving a tetanus or diphtheria vaccination. The injected foreign proteins of the vaccine bind to antibodies, forming immune complexes at the site, resulting in inflammation and induration. Certain inhaled antigens can cause a localized type 3 hypersensitivity reaction in the alveoli of the lungs. Examples include farmer's lung and pigeon breeder disease. Ingested substance, like gluten, can cause celiac disease or gluten-sensitive enteropathy in susceptible individuals. Forms of systemic type 3 hypersensitivity reactions include serum sickness and a certain type of Raynaud phenomenon, where cold temperatures cause immune complexes called cryoglobulins to precipitate in circulation and block blood flow in tiny capillaries of the nose, toes, and fingers. This blockage leads to pallor, numbness, and eventual cyanosis. Systemic type 3 hypersensitivity reactions can also be seen in autoimmune diseases like lupus, where large numbers of immune complexes attach to the endothelium of blood vessel walls causing vasculitis and can lodge especially in the glomerular capillaries of the kidneys causing acute glomerulonephritis. In another autoimmune disease, rheumatoid arthritis, immune complex is known as rheumatoid factor, or RF, composed of IgM, IgG, and complement, is deposited in joints and elicits an immune response that causes joint damage and destruction. Now for some questions to assess your understanding. Pause the video now and think of your answers. If you answered the following, you are correct. Thanks for watching.